Well, good morning, good morning. It's a different morning. <laughs> Everything is going its own way today as usual. So hello, good morning, everybody. How are you on this fine morning? It seems like Facebook wants two minutes more to get alive. So we give it two minutes more to get alive. So anyway, here we are. Our video looks a little bit strange, but what can I say? This is the kind of day it's turning out to be. So anyway, here we are. It's a beautiful morning. Things are happening in America. Today they have one president going, another president coming. The world is changing. Things are going to be different for some people. And, some, and it will just be, you know, one of those wonderful days. So here we are. There's nothing we can do about the weather today. It is minus six. Apparently, we are going to get real winter weather for the next few days. So it just means it will be below zero, below 32. And we'll bundle up when we have to go out. We don't have to go out too often. We are told not to go out too often, so we won't go out too often. We are obeying the laws, wearing our masks and staying in as much as we can. So good morning. And how are you on this wonderful morning? I seem to be having a lot of technical issues with Facebook in the morning. So... I hope you guys can get on. If not, you can watch it again. We cannot fret. We cannot control this. So we're going to just work with what we cannot control. And this is how it's going to be. So how are you doing today? Greeting to self. I hope you're doing wonderful today. It's a, a, a beautiful morning and I hope you're having fun. So you're greeting to self for me. Here you are. Like, you know, here you are. You are ready for success here you are you're just ready for success ready to get into action so yes i am ready for success because i was told i was acknowledged here you are i saw that and i felt really good when i heard that message here you are you're ready for success your mantra for today is compassion for others fills my heart so your Mantra is telling you, the compassion you have for others will fill your heart. It will make you feel better with the more compassion you have for others. And my morning blessing to you today is, the more depth you put in your positive emotion, the more intensity you have with God. So the more you put in your positive emotion, I am grateful, I am thankful, I am blessed, I am honored. The more of that you put in your positive emotion, the more intensity you would have with God. So the stronger your positive emotion, the stronger it is, the more decisive it is, the more determined you are. Is the closer your relationship you'll have to God, the universe, or whoever you put, you know, you know that divine being is, the one that's greater than us. Yes. The more you put into your positive emotion, the more you will feel your connection to God. The more positive you are in your emotions, like don't let your emotions be brought down by the emotions of others, by the emotions of the stress of the day. Don't let that happen to you. Don't let the emotion of others drag you down. Let the, make sure that your emotion is as positive as you can do it. Bring that emotion of in so you know your, your blessing is the more depth, the more energy you put in your positive emotion, the more intensity you have with God, the universe, your great creator. That is what you must remember. The more you give to that wonderful ability to have that emotion coming out of you, the more time you take to acknowledge the greatness, the wonderful things that are happening in your life, the more, the closer you'll get to what is divine. You will feel it though. When you get close to that type of magical spot, it's like a sweet spot. When you hit that tiny sweet spot and you get into the connection of God, you'll feel so much better. A type of peace that surpasses all understanding flows into you. You feel contented. I like you feel happy. Joy fills your heart. You feel love and special. Happiness flows from you. Thankfulness, gratitude, appreciation. Because you have put your emotions in the right place. Your positive emotion in your prayer, the prayer that comes from your heart. When you pray, we all, every word we say is a prayer. Every sentence we make is a prayer. So when we have these strong sentences and we pray, 
and we say those wonderful words, we are putting those positive emotions out there. So that's why it is better to let it flow. Let that prayer flow from your heart with positive emotion in your gratitude, your thankfulness, your appreciation, your happiness, your joy, and your love. Let your prayer be those things. Let it flow. Let it flow. Let that, that is flowing from your heart. That prayer, your prayer doesn't flow from outside of you. Your prayer is you. Your words are your prayer. Your daily, ordinary, simple words are prayers. Good morning, Debbie. It looks like everybody's getting a hard time to come on. I have no idea what's happening in Facebook, but we are going to soldier through. That's what life is about, push through. So the more you emotion you put in, good morning, Yoko, happy Wednesday. The more emotion you put in your prayer, the more determination you put in your prayer, the closer your connection to God. No matter what God you pray to, no matter what being you believe, the universe, the God, the whatever, the, that emotion that you put in your prayer is what makes it your prayer, is what gives you the answer. So when you put your, if you put negative emotion in your prayer, and your prayer are your daily, ordinary words, your prayer are, are the words you think, the words you say out. This is your prayer. Your prayer is not only kneeling and being like this and praying. That is, a, that is prayer too. But what is the point of being in this state of prayer when you were just angry and having a war on the other side, or you pray, then you have a war on this side? It makes no sense. But one thing we do know, the more in the more in positive emotion you put in your prayer, the more you develop an intensity with your connection with your God, your you the universe, whoever your creator is, who you, you believe is part of you. That makes you unique. And that makes you that gives you joy. Once you see you get this connection going, you're going to be feeling that joy coming over. You're going to feel that joy pushing you through. Because you have put that connection in God. And that is the one thing you will understand. You won't even be able to say where it's coming from. You'll have, first you will feel it like contentment. I am feeling kind of nice, you might say to yourself. I feel, I feel calm. I feel relaxed. I feel like I'm in a special place. That is the first things you're going to say to yourself. Then you will realize I am actually happy. I feel joyful. I am so relax in that joy that I feel. When you hit that sweet spot, it is called a sweet spot, you will understand it. And you will not even be able to explain it to somebody because everyone has to feel it themselves. That positiveness has to come and everybody has to feel it themselves. Our connection to God, the creator, the universe grows as we put our intensity in our positive emotion. The more positive emotion we throw out there, the more our intensity grows. And it helps us to serve. When you have that feeling, you feel as if you want to help somebody else. You want to include others. You want to enlighten others. You want to give the encourage others. And you want to educate them and say, this is what you have to do. This is what brought me there. This is what pumped me up. This is what I've, well, this is what I experienced all those years ago, and I wanted to take it out to the world, and I got the opportunity. I started with sending small, individual morning blessing, and it just boomeranged to this, and I love it. But I wanted to say to you, the more positive emotion you put in your life, the more you will feel that feeling that you want to help others, you want to encourage them, you want to enlighten them, you want to serve others, because you want somebody else to taste that sweet spot. You want somebody else to understand and to share what you're feeling. You want to teach somebody else to say, hey, just believe, have faith, get yourself pumped, get your go and meet people who will elevate you. That's what I do, elevate you, make you take action, inflate you so that you're doing better, you're rising above everything that is not going to help you. You're moving away from anything that is depressing you, putting you down, and you're filling yourself with that positive emotion. Even in a storm, something positive will come through. Even through COVID, positiveness came through. We see each other, we hear each other, we realize all of our mistakes of the past, of not caring, not taking the time to greet others, and now, we, we realize, oh my God, when this is over, some people are saying, I want to give the biggest hug ever.
But when this is over, we have to go back to doing things better than we did it before. We have to stay connected. We need to be less angry. We need to realize the little, little things that will trigger us is not important enough. We need to know what we can control. We can control saying hello. We can control picking up the phone and greet somebody. We can control sharing our wisdom, our knowledge, whatever we have with somebody. That's what it is. The positive emotion replacing our actions and words, the more the depth we, be de we develop with our creator, God, the universe. When we take that positive action, we put it in our words and our actions and our thing, the more we get out of it. When we develop, the deep intensity of connection with our creator, our God, and the universe, or the universe, we are covered in an armor of belief and faith. When we do that, we are covered in an armor of belief and faith. When we put that, is there, that there, nobody will get it. It goes, it surpasses all regular, normal understanding. Only somebody else who has tried this, who has worked towards this, who you have shared, what you are feeling, what you're experiencing, like I share with you. And I'm telling you, do this so you will be able to feel better. Think only good. Don't be angry. Wait to see if the anger is really worthy. Because when you get so angry about something, and it's usually something we cannot control. When you get angry to the point where you're doing something you are not later going to regret, that is not where you want to be. So this is to let you know that when you do having this emotion, flip it. If it's an angry emotion, flip it to a positive emotion and say, you know what, at least I found out. If something has hurt you, say, well, at least I know I shouldn't have done that. At least I know this person is going to be. So you're learning and you're saying, okay, fine. I got something I didn't know a few minutes ago from this experience. We are doing this now. We are getting things we didn't acknowledge before because of COVID. No, we acknowledge the sweetness, the love, the understanding, the missing of family and friends. Standing at the door, standing at the side of my daughter's car, and she's going away and I, on Sunday, and I cannot hug her. And we are huggy, huggy, crazy, huggy family. So that, that is hard. But I knew I hugged her. I knew I always did it. So if we're losing it and we're getting angry, Let's switch that emotion because when you put emotion in your prayer and your words are your prayer, your regular daily words are your prayer. And if you put that type of emotion in the prayer, you are going to get it and it will be making you feel closer to peace. When you tap into the God, your God, whoever it is, wherever it is, and you tap into them, you will feel that peace. You will feel that joy. A calmness will take you and, and you will... No, you won't be able to, under, to understand it or explain it. It surpasses all understanding. That is the love and emotion you'll get from God. This connection keeps, aflo keeps you afloat when, we, when you're in waters that is covering your head. That type of feeling, when you are sinking and you feel that the water is going to cover your head, it will force you to stay afloat. This connection gives you hope to keep trying, to keep moving in the right direction. You will always want to do what is right. When you're sinking, you will say, no, I am not sinking. No, this is not going to pull me back. I'm going to push through it. The direction that will take you to at the top of your destiny, you will feel that. When you, when you get into it, you will know that this is pushing me to my right destiny. A destiny we often do not know exists. We don't know where our destiny lies. We don't know what to do to get to the real true destiny. You know how we know that? Is when we get into that emotional state of positive emotion and we get into that sweet spot of peace. A love that is not outside of you. A peace that is not outside of you. It's a peace that is deep inside of you. Nobody can shake it. A love that is inside of you. It's only when you get to that point you will find that destiny, you'll find your destiny. But one we so often find when we develop intensity with our creator. We only find it when we develop intensity towards our creator, God and the universe. It is only by trusting in your belief and faith that you will find you are on the path to meet your destiny head on and let your success rise. When you come to that point where you feel that you know for sure 
You have touched everything you need to touch. You feel the joy and you have that thing, that peace. It's like there's all this stress on your shoulder, all the things that hurt you, all the things that kept you back, that dull headed. When you hit that and it's no longer there, and although it's not perfect around you, remember at that time, life is not perfect. The water might be rocky. Like I said, you might be sinking. It might be above your head. But because you know you have that closeness and you can feel the connection to your God, you will rise. And when you rise, you will meet your destiny head on. And when you meet your destiny head on, you will know this is what I am supposed to do. And no one, absolutely no one can tell you that is not what you're supposed to do. When they ask, the feeling of this amazing thing will prevent you from saying to them, listen, this is how it is. You cannot explain it. You will not find the words to explain it. They too must take that journey for them to be in that place to find. And that place is a place of watching your words, your prayer, your daily, ordinary, an ordinary conversation is a prayer. Because a prayer is a heart to heart talk to your God. A connection from your heart to your God's heart, whatever your God is. Put every effort you have every day to nurture your positive, deep emotion, to connect with your creator, your God, and the universe. This is all you have to do. It's not easy, but it's something that's very doable. You have to work on it. Like, hi, morning, Corinne, morning, Ezra. All the things you have to do, you have to work on it. We cannot get into that state of peace into that um, space of love, into that space of a smile when there is no smile to be seen by others, into that place where you're just sitting and you're contented being who you are. You don't need to change because you know you're accepted by your creator, by your God, by the universe. As I said, whoever you believe in, you're accepted by that. If you believe in a tree, then fine. And that is the most important thing you can do for yourself. So, Sending you light and joy on this wonderful Wednesday morning, January 20th, 2021. I hope you caught a, a message. I hope my message today touched you and to realize, put your emotion to be positive. Make sure that your anger is dissipated and your emotion of positiveness is what you're pushing through so that you can feel it. The more you practice it, at first it's hard. It's like your morning greeting. Your morning greeting to self is really, you feel silly. But after a while, you understand it, you get it. By now, you should feel it. You get it. Today, I went and I just like somebody greeting you. I went, oh, here you are. Like I was looking for me. And, I, and you're full of success. You're going to be successful today. So just try it. Remember, it's you in private. You're not doing it on the street. You're doing it in your bathroom or in your mirror. So look for the positive things also. Don't let anger especially someone's anger or someone's frustration affects your positive emotion. Get connected to the deep inside of you. If that's where your God is, then connect with that God. So sending you light and joy on this wonderful morning. Take care and have a beautiful day. Remember to like and share the morning blessings and follow me on YouTube and subscribe to the channel. Take care. Love you guys. See you tonight. I'll see what we are coming up with tonight. It should be interesting. It's Wednesday night. I normally have somebody to coach. So nobody to coach. So we'll think of coaching ourselves tonight. So have fun and take care. Bye.